Good afternoon. My name is Robert Reese. I'm here at the Dennis and Pequot Seapos Nature Center. And this is Kingsley. She's a short-eared owl. Uh, we're going to learn a little bit today about owls and then specifically short-eared owls and Kingsley's story here. So owls are part of a large group of birds called raptors, which include hawks, eagles, osprey, vultures, and falcons. Now all the raptors have certain characteristics. Specifically, they have curved, sharp, uh, sorry, sharp bills and sharp curved talons. Owls in particular are a little bit different in the sense that they have some other things, other adaptations that make them special. One of which is their huge eyes. Take a look at Kingsley here. She has really beautiful eyes. Now, if I had eyes the size of Kingsley, you could imagine my eyes being about the size of a lemon. Owls also have uh, special feathers. It's one of the things that make them silent flyers. When they're hunting, it's actually uh, the short-eared owl here is kind of cool because instead of hunting from, from a perch, it's actually one of the owls that will hunt uh, while gliding over meadows and things like that. So it's really important for her in particular to be nice and quiet. So their feathers are kind of fringed and that scatters the sound and so she can fly almost silently. So Rob, we have some new people that just tuned in. Sure. Can you introduce this Hi, lovely welcome. owl again? This is Kingsley. She's a short-eared owl. And I'm Robert Reese. I'm here at the Denison Pequot Seapost Nature Center. Welcome. So, so they have fringed feathers, which allow them to fly silently. Very cool. They're also the only birds of prey that have, excuse me, that have um, feathers on their feet. Other birds have scales on their legs and feet. Owls have feathers. Help, helps keep them nice and quiet. Now, owls are nocturnal for the most part, but there are a few exceptions. And short-eared owls are one of those exceptions. During the breeding season, they'll be up day and night uh, looking for food. Now, Kingsley here is a short-eared owl. They're named short-eared owls because of their ear tufts. You're probably thinking, well, Rob, I don't see any ear tufts. Either do I. They're very, very small. They're right on the top of her head. And when she's nice and relaxed, she'll pick them up. But right now, she's got them sitting flat. But they are there. Um, now, really, ear tufts are actually just feathers. They're just a little longer feathers. They probably indicate mood more than anything else. Um, now, Uh, Short-eared owls, in general, uh, are not very common here. Uh, they're actually a migratory species, so they're really only here in the winter. And then they fly north into Canada, um, looking for areas like tundra. They like they like open uh, grasslands. They like they like coastal plains and things like that, where they can find uh, nesting grounds and lots of little either shorebirds they'll eat, um, they'll eat other mammals, little mammals. And they're looking for uh, dry areas that have uh, just enough vegetation to conceal the female while she's incubating the eggs. They're also one of the few owls, for the most part owls don't make nests. They're one of the few owls that will actually line uh, a small cavity with with feathers and and dry grass to uh, to help uh, the eggs incubate. Now, why did Kingsley come to live at the nature center? Well, Kingsley was found in Ledger, right on Shoeville Road. Chances are, 
We don't know specifically, but chances are she was probably hit by a car. The va vast majority of birds here at the Nature Center are here because they were hit by cars. Um, and we're really basing that off her injury. She has, she has uh, had a broken wing. And um, we're also basing that on the fact that they're found near roads. And so that, uh, that leads us to believe that she was probably hit by a car. So when she was found, uh, let's see, I think that was in 2017, in, in I think it was the beginning of spring or the end of winter, right around that time. She should have already been on her way uh, looking, for, looking for breeding spots in, in the north. And so because she has to fly, you know, a thousand miles or more uh, to migrate, even though she can fly, she can only fly for a few minutes and then her, her wing starts to, to bother her. So she makes an excellent education bird, uh, an animal ambassador, I suppose. Is she a big owl? Uh, she's only about the size, uh, maybe a little bit bigger than a crow. So she's not terribly big. She doesn't weigh very much. Uh, she does have remarkably long wings. Like I said, they, they, they hunt on the wing, which means they're flying and hunting at the same time. Uh, so she has uh, almost four foot wingspan. And that's, that's uh, pretty big considering she's a, a relatively small bird. What does Kingsley like to eat? So for the most part, short-eared owls will eat um, mice, voles, they'll also eat birds. Um, there's an interesting little fact that's kind of gross, but I like the gross facts. Uh, they like to decapitate and eviscerate the mice before they swallow them whole, which is interesting, or I guess almost whole. And then they like to, they like to pull the wings off the birds before they eat them which I thought was an interesting fact. That is an interesting fact. We do have a question that came in. How much sure. does she eat? Oh, she'll eat probably about, I would say five mice in a day. Amy would like to know, can she fly after getting hit by a car? She probably could not fly very well at all after being hit by uh, a car. She probably flew um, maybe, or like sort of hop fly, um, maybe a few feet at a time. And so uh, she was probably uh, injured for at least a couple of days before she was found. And now she can fly, but only short distances, correct? Exactly. Yeah. So she can fly maybe, you know, for a minute or two and then she has to stop. So flying a thousand miles to migrate might be a bit of a challenge. Yeah. It'd be like doing the AT with the walker. Yeah. What is your favorite thing about working with Kingsley? Oh, Kingsley is, is an amazing animal to work with. One, she's beautiful. Katie Ra Roberts just tuned in and she agrees. Yeah, yeah, she's beautiful. And one of the things I like to point out about her is actually her camouflage. Uh, thank you, Kingsley. <laughs> now, her camouflage, if you look at the back of her, I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but um, her feathers make her look like she's out of focus. That's not the cameraman. That's her feathers. And so she blends in very, very well. You can imagine her sitting on a, on a, like a little hillock of, of grass or a dune, and she would be really hard to spot unless you knew that she was there already. So Ari just tuned in and would like to know if Kingsley has a boyfriend. Uh, no, I don't think so. Kingsley is definitely single. She's our, um, our one short-eared right. owl resident. Exactly. exactly. And Lindsay would like to know how you can tell if they're a boy or a girl. Uh, I believe you would have to uh, have a... I think it's the buff color on their chest, right? I do not know that trick. We no. will respond back to that question because that is a great question. We also have a question from Kate who would like to know if... Kingsley is able to be visited outside at the nature center. Of course, yeah. Yeah, so she's outside with the other birds of prey. There are several enclosures out there, and uh, you're, you're free to, to walk and, and, and see them.
All right. All right. Oh, Kelly would like to know what her owl call sounds like. Ah, that's a good question. So uh, a short-eared owl's call isn't terribly um, remarkable. It's just a quiet little hooting sound. We can also respond back to that comment when we're done yeah. with the video with some clips of what her call sounds like. Yeah. And Amy would like to know, is she scared of loud sounds? So all birds of prey um, are, well, not all, but most birds of prey are a little bit um, uh, uh, uncomfortable with loud noises. Uh, so there's certain birds that are really um, aren't, you know, uh, afraid of noises. So like red-tailed hawks you see near the highway, that's part of the reason is that they don't mind the noise. Basically the rest of them, including short-eared owls, are really shy around loud noises. All right, great. Well, Rob, thank you so much for sharing thank Kingsley you. with us. And thank you to everyone who tuned in with us today. Um, Sam has one last question and would like sure. to know what we feed her. So I think Sam is a later tuner in. Mm -hmm. um, so can you answer that question? Uh, yeah, she gets uh, mice and an occasional rat. All right, great. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us today. You can join us again on Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. for our next Facebook Live. Have a great day. Bye.